Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Jenny and this is Arnold the Praying Penguin and we create videos every Saturday about prayer, about exploring the Bible and about living out your faith. So, you want to do a prayer walk and you don't know where to start? Well, we are here to help. We want to encourage all of you to get out into your community and get praying. So we have seven things for you to think about before you get started with your prayer walk to help you plan your prayer walk. If you've never heard of a prayer walk before, this is basically just getting out into your community, going for a walk around where you live and praying for the people, the places, the organisations, the situations that you see around you. So let's get into the questions. Question one is who is going? Are you going to go prayer walking by yourself or are there other people going with you? Are you going to organise a group of you to all go out and prayer walk together? But you need to take into consideration who is coming with you. Are there people with kids coming? People with babies? Are there any older people? Anybody with mobility issues? Anyone bringing a pushchair? All of these things are going to impact the route that you take, where you walk, what kind of walk it is. Are you going to be on road or off road? How long are you going to walk for? What distance you're going to cover? Question two is are you praying out loud? Praying out loud can be quite daunting if you're just outside on the streets and praying out loud but it can also really highlight to other people what you're doing. Let them know that you're praying for them and praying for this community. But there's also nothing wrong with just praying inside your head as you go. Your prayer isn't any less heard by God just because you're not praying it out loud. Question three is, are you stopping? Are there set places that you want to stop at along your route so you can stop there and pray for specific things at each specific point? Or are you just gonna keep walking and pray as you go? Or there's nothing wrong with mixing the two together and doing a bit of both. You could stop at set places to pray specific prayers, but you could also be spending time praying as you walk in between those places. Question four is where are you walking? It might be that you want to just start walking, set off from your house and see where you end up and have no plan whatsoever. And that's great. But for a lot of people, that isn't particularly practical. They need to be back for a certain time or they need to take into consideration the needs of the people who are going with them. So when you're thinking about a route, I think it's great to start by thinking where are specific places in your community that you want to pray for and where are those places? And then plan your route around those. So these could be things like schools in your local community, care homes, it could be local organisations or charities that have a base. It could be parks or places where new houses are being built. It could be absolutely anything where there are physical places you want to go past on your route. And as I said, consider the needs of the people who are walking with you. Think about the terrain that you're going to be going on. Is it too bumpy for a pushchair or is it a bit uneven for people who maybe need a walking stick? Are there lots of hills that are going to really tire people out? Do you need to walk along a really busy road that may be potentially dangerous? Question five is who do you want to pray for? Again, you could just start walking and start praying. Pray for the people that you see as you go past them or just allow God to guide your thoughts and prayers as you're walking. But it can also be helpful to think ahead of time about specific people that you particularly want to pray for so that you remember them and pray over them as you're walking. These could be groups of people that you're particularly passionate about helping, groups of people that you know are experiencing certain difficulties in your community, or you could ask God to place specific people on your heart and then be led by his direction. And that brings us nicely onto question six, which is what is going on right now? What current events are impacting the people in your community and how can you pray over those events? This can really help to guide your prayers and to make them specific and timely to what is happening right now. This could include things that have happened in your local community recently. It could include upcoming events that you're looking forward to, things that are happening in the local community. It could be issues certain people are facing or changes that are happening in your community. For example, this could include things like having a group of refugees move into your area and you particularly want to pray for them and for that situation. It could be that your local school is currently recruiting a new head teacher, for example, and you want to pray for that. It could be that you know that your local food bank is really seeing an increase in demand and you want to pray for that. Many of the things you probably know about just from living in your community and hearing from your neighbours and from other people that you live near. But if you want to go out and seek other things that are happening and find out more, 
you could find these in kind of your local newspapers, local Facebook groups, or you could ask your church. They might have a prayer diary or a prayer chain that highlights the issues that are facing your community. And question seven is how are you making time to listen to God? Whilst you're out on this prayer walk, instead of just talking at God the whole time, listing off these issues and people that you want to pray for and all of these needs that are in your community, which is really, really important. We also want to take this opportunity to listen to God, to listen for his voice. Prayer walks are a great opportunity to do this because you're so much less distracted by all the things that you have going on at home. So how do we go about doing this and making sure that that's a part of our prayer walk? Well, firstly, we can ask God questions, ask him to show us how we can help in certain situations. If there are certain things going on, people who are in need, ask God what we can do and ask him other questions like that. And you could also plan in set places to stop and listen. You could have set places to stop and pray and pray over certain situations, but you could also have certain places whether they're the same or different and just stop and sit and listen. I think sitting down can really help this and really allow you to relax and take a break, particularly if you have people walking with you for whom walking is quite difficult, that can take a lot of brain power. So having places to stop and rest and listen can really help with that too. And finally, go into your prayer walk being open to God changing your plans. We have all these plans in place to help us and to get us prepared for this walk, but be open to God changing those plans. Maybe he will direct you somewhere new to walk, or maybe he will highlight somewhere that you hadn't even thought of stopping and praying for and he'll tell you stop and pray here be open to that and follow his direction so those are seven questions to ask before you go on a prayer walk to help you plan your prayer walk and this isn't to make your prayer walk really rigid and set in stone but it's just to get you thinking and hopefully be really prepared really confident and ready to pray let us know down in the comments where in the world you are prayer walking and also do let us know if you have any questions about prayer walks. We love talking about this topic so we'd happily answer any of your questions from the comments. But we hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from me and Arnold. If you'd like to see more videos about fun and interesting ways to pray do check out these videos on screen and we will see you next Saturday for a new video. Bye!